What's up guys, Soramik here, and i um, just going to show you guys a quick little effect today. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests about people asking me how to motion track, and when I tell them that they need Buju and Cinema 4D, they're like, uh, what? What is that? And uh, a lot of people don't want to go out of their way and get the programs to motion track and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an easier way to motion track. Um, you're obviously not going to be able to get the 3D text and all that stuff that you're going to be able to get with... Uh, with Cinema 4D, but this is an easy way to motion track um, just 2D text, or if you want to, you know, motion track like an image or something, or you know, another video clip, you can just scale it down and track that too. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty pretty simple. Get your cinematic um, in here and uh, get it all scaled up and everything. Um, figure out the point um, on the cinematic that you want to. Uh, track the Good text to so and this is what it's gonna look like after uh, after it's all said and done right here how the text is tracked to the body and you know it bounces back and forth with him as he runs and all that stuff so that's an example um, just 2d stuff like that again you're not gonna be able to do the 3d text and all that stuff but yeah figure out a point that you guys want to track um, it's got to be a point that's um, like definitive. That's a, a key thing. Is like you're not gonna want to track like in the middle of like the white right here because all of this is white, and so it won't really know what you're trying to track. So you want to pick something that has a lot of contrast. So like you know maybe if I did like see I did like the black right here on uh, um, between the li little bump on his backpack and this section. You know there's like contrast right here and. Uh, so it'll be easier for for After Effects to know which point that you're trying to track to. Or I could even do like, I might do like this point on his head right here. Um, the little button on his cap. So uh, what you do is just come over here to Tracker down here. If you don't see it, just come up here to Window and uh, check Tracker. And it should pop up down here. Um, hit Track Motion. Um, and then this little box will come up with the track point. Um, get in the middle of it. Um, kind of hard when you're not zoomed in. Oops. You want to get to the point where it's the little four cross. Um, I don't know how to describe it. The little four arrows pointing up and down, and then it'll magnify it up a little bit. You just want to like get um that tracker to the point that you want to track. So right here, the little button on his cap. Try to get it centered. There you go. And then um, just go to the beginning of the clip. Um. Uh, I probably should have done that beforehand, huh? Oops. Sorry about that, guys. There you go, beginning of the clip. And then um, come over here to your things, make sure that the right layer is selected. The source should be your cinematic. Um, the tracker should be tracker 1. Um, that's fine. And you want to do the position, um, the rotation, and the scale. Um, actually, you don't really have to do rotation. Just do position and scale. Um, actually, no, you don't even have to do scale, really. Sorry. Just do position. And then um, if you just come down here to analyze and just hit the play button right here, analyze forward, it should track. Um, I forgot to get rid of the other tracker point. You can just delete that afterwards. But, yeah, it'll track the motion. So then you can expand this, go down to motion trackers, um, get rid of, I don't know why that was there in the first place, but it'll create all these keyframes. And if you come down here, you'll see that the little box is tracked, bounces back and forth with his head, and uh, gets a little bit jumpy if it's not like a perfectly smooth cinematic, but um, you guys will learn how to track the points that are easier and smoother to track. And then basically all you need to do is um, make your text or your 2D object or whatever. Um, type in whatever tutorial and um, open up the position by hitting P on your keyboard and just alt click the uh, stopwatch right here and you're going to want to take this little uh, um, pick whip tool, the little spiral and just drag it down to uh, the feature center and it should uh, you know punch in a little expression here um, get rid of that and then if you come back through here you'll see your text is just tracked to his head or to whatever point you were going to track to 
So it's real simple, uh, easy way to do motion tracking. Um, if you don't have Cinema 4D and Buju, like I said, again, it's just going to be 2D. Um, if you want to track like a shape or whatever, it's just the same thing. You can um, make your shape and your whatever your 2D thing is, open up the position, and pick whip it by alt-clicking on the stopwatch. And then it'll be the same thing. Um, It'll be tracked to his head. So yeah, that's just a real simple effect. Um, I'm running out of ideas for tutorials because people like Baker and um, all these other, you know, editors that are way better than I am always cover the more complicated stuff. So I mean, leave a leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see because I'm really running out of ideas <laughs> as to what to show you guys. But yeah, anyways, that's that. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, if you guys do want to learn how to 3D track with Cinema 4D and uh, Buju, I do have a tutorial on my channel. Um, so yeah, just search that up. and Cool. Um, read the description because there will be some updates in there, and I hope this, guy, this helped you out, guys. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.